I think if we didn't have mathematicians and scientists, then our society would essentially collapse. We live in a very technological age, and the economy, for example, depends on us understanding this technological age. If we didn't have scientists and mathematicians to help appreciate how the world works, then we won't be able to live in it. In England, there is a continuing serious shortage of people teaching the next generation of mathematicians and scientists. The government are addressing this issue with programmes such as iTeach, an online postgraduate training programme. iTeach is aimed at giving people with real-world experience the opportunity to transition to a career in teaching maths, physics or chemistry. The project involves Canterbury Christchurch University as the initial teacher education providers and Hibernia College from Dublin who provide the electronic resources for distance learning. This approach is needed because there are a number of people out there who would very much like to enter the profession who are unable to learn in more conventional ways, particularly career changers who have ongoing family commitments and need a way of training which allows them to study at least part of the time at their own speed while having access to a community of fellow learners at the same time. The iTeach programme lasts 18 months and includes 24 weeks of on-site classroom-based teaching practice. And with bursaries of up to £16,000, iTeach provides an innovative opportunity for those wishing to offer their real-world experience to the classroom. Of course, being an online distance learner doesn't mean that um, you have to lose any of the opportunities to communicate or collaborate with your fellow students and with the teaching faculty. Within the iTeach programme, there are ample opportunities for students to engage in real, real-time live tutorials where they can discuss the course both with fellow students and with tutors in a, in a real-time setting. The classroom should provide some kind of learning experience that meets each child's needs. Now, does anyone have any questions? Go ahead, Neen. Um, I, think, I think it's the quality of instruction that counts. These tutorials take place in the evening, so they facilitate people who might be caring for children or, or at work. There are other opportunities to communicate during the week, including email, uh, discussion forums, online learning diaries or online blogs, uh, instant messaging, instant text messaging. Within the iTeach technology, there is a community page where students can communicate with each other and build lists of friends and create groups and email groups and so on, much, much like MySpace or Bebo functionality, which, which many people are familiar with. In its first year, iTeach has already attracted nearly 200 people to the course, including Lisa Remmer. Lisa has a degree in science and extensive experience in engineering design. She's currently project managing a local authority development program while she trains to become a physics teacher. The beauty of iTeach for me is the flexibility. It means that my life can continue the way it was with, with iTeach um, enhancing my uh, current status rather than um, distracting from it. And it also means that commitments I have toward family and projects and hobbies um, can be integrated into my, uh, into my life. Father of three, Naeem Zafar, has a degree in engineering and experience in marine technology. He's using iTeach to realise his dream of becoming a maths teacher. Right now I'm sort of two thirds of the way through my iTeach uh, course and I'm in a school, I'm teaching just like all the other teachers, you know, I have like 70-80% teaching load. I'm enjoying it fantastically. I've considered uh, teaching many times before but each time, you know, the, the commitment of going to, to university has always prevented me from leaving my work and so on. And this time around, really, I couldn't believe my luck. So it's, it's, it's brought uh, a lot of dreams come true for me. I think every scientist or mathematician probably has a story about a teacher at school who brought the subject to life for them and really inspired them to do that subject. So I think that's the real potential of a teacher. They can really inspire a kid and, and show them that that there's so much more to science than just uh, the simple things that we do in the classroom. And that's what people from other professions can bring to the subject.